my face already done, I'm gonna skip right to the eyes. I'm gonna groom it a little bit because I honestly haven't touched my brows in a while. Um, I'm just gonna start by using the wax and then I'm gonna use Wet n Wild's Ultimate Brow Kit to just fill them in. Using the lighter brown on the inner corner and using the darker brown on the outer corner. And make sure to blend it with the spoolie as you go along. Then taking Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I'm just going to be really sculpting out my eyebrows because I really want it to be nice and sharp and crisp. Taking a BH Cosmetics brush to just blend it out because it ain't cute when you can see it. I'm going to be taking a Maybelline Brow Gel and just setting. Now prime your eyes with any eye primer that you have. I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going to be blending that in with my fingers and then taking Essence Super Fine Liquid Eyeliner, I'm just going to be creating my crease with it and then you want to wing it out too. Taking a black eyeshadow, I'm just going to be smudging that and blending it along the way and you want to blend it as you go along. Taking Orange Soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills on 217, I'm just going to be blending that. Taking Micah Beauties in uh, Sunrise, that's going to be our main eyeshadow today. I'm going to be using some Max Fix Plus to just kind of intensify it because it's going to make it look more 3D and 3D dimensional. It's just so pretty. I'm going to create a dramatic cat wing liner. Now I'm just going to be tight lining my eyes with the Sephora eyeliner and the trick is to smudge it with a Q-tip just so it doesn't smudge by the end of the night and you look like a panda. Taking Burnt Orange by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm just going to be smoking my bottom lashes with it. I'm taking a white gold color from City Colors and just highlight the inner corner with it. Also taking another highlighter from Sleek and highlighting the inner and brow bone. I'm just prepping my lashes for falsies. I'm going to curl them and put on some mascara. I'm also using some eyelash primer for my bottom lashes because I ain't got any. I'm going to use my favorite bottom lash mascara, or what I use for my bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to be drawing on some fake bottom lashes to just make them look even more dramatic and pop even more. And then I'm going to be adding on some falsies and using your favorite lash glue. And go over your lash line with some more liquid liner just because sometimes you can see that lash glue. I'm going to create a baby cat wing liner in the inner corner because this is a cat look, so why not? I'm going to be taking Urban Case Midnight Cowboy liquid liner, glitter liner, and just lining underneath my crease and then adding on some yellow contacts. I'm going to be um, lining my waterline with some white cream liner. Now back to the face, I'm going to be taking our glasses um, ambient powder and just finish powdering my face brushing off any of those powder that I baked earlier and then I'm just gonna add some glitter on the inner corners too because I decided that last minute. I'm gonna strongly strongly contour the nose. You want to be heavy-handed with this. I'm just taking a dark brown eyeshadow and going down my nose bridge. And then you're gonna want to create your cat nose. I'm just using a liquid liner and then taking black face paint I'm just gonna be filling that in. Don't forget the bottom of your nose too because when you look up you can see your nostril. Taking my Meat Matte palette by the bottom, just taking that brown shadow and then and I'm gonna be blending in the side of my contour just a little bit better to make it look more natural. Natural, just not natural, just to blend it out more. I'm gonna be taking a uh, bare mineral uh, mineral veil to just um, soften up the contour because it is a little bit harsh. Taking some white face paint, I'm just gonna be smudging it on the top of my lips, I guess and just blending it out to make my lips look more pouty. I'm taking Kat Von D's Liquid Lipstick in Lolita to fill in my lips. And then I'm taking ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in Nudie. I'm also taking a white shadow and just um, setting that white dot lipstick down in here. Oh, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Anyways, I'm going to be drawing a line down the middle of my cupid's bow. And I'm just going to be outlining the top of my lips and per um, creating a little C-shape on the corners. Then draw three little dots on each side of your lips. And then you're just going to be flicking out some lines from them. That's going to represent your whiskers. You're going to want less pressure towards the end. Now going back into that neat matte palette, I'm just going to be taking those dark brown shadows and I'm just going to be contouring the face. And again, you want to be heavy handed with it because you want to be dramatic. You want to have that deep, sharp, crisp, 
just contour. <laughs> I'm also going to be using my NARS brush and just um, intensifying that contour. Because darling, you want your face to be so sharp and slim, you want to look sexy, like a feline. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this hot pink blush by Buxom and I'm just going to pack it on to my cheeks. I mean, you don't want to pack it on, pack it on, but you want a good meal. I'm going to be taking my NARS highlighter. I'm going to be taking that gold one and just highlight the cheekbones with it. And then I decided I wanted it more intense. So I'm just taking my highlighter from Bella Pear and just piling that highlighter on because I want to glow like the star that you are. Put it just everywhere where you would normally highlight, but just intensify it. Then I'm going to be taking a Nixie's yogurt and just going to draw random little dots of different sizes on the side of my face. I'm going to be filling them in with that pigment from Michael Beauty again. Taking some black face paint, I'm just going to be drawing blotchy lines, perfectly free lines around each dot. and. Then just put little random dots beside of them and then that's how you create cheetah prints, I guess. <laughs> I then decided that I wanted to do it on the bottom jaw too, just because I felt like it was a little naked. And just repeat that process and then you are basically done with this look. Was that not easy? I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Love ya! Bye!